Today we're going to talk about guest bedrooms and guest bathrooms and the things that we should have in there. Um, have you ever ended up spending the night in someone's home and you froze to death all night long because there wasn't a blanket? Or you didn't have a toothbrush because you weren't intending to spend the night? You get in the shower and there's no soap. I'm going to show you some of the things that I think should be in a guest bedroom. Come with me. You got to watch this. Because I got some things I want to show you. I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. I have two guest bedrooms in my home, and the very first one here is the one we're going to look at now. So it's a pretty good sized room, and this is my favorite to have guests sleep in. Let's just go through some things. Number one, adequate lighting, okay? Uh, a lot of times, this is our dump room in a lot of people's homes, okay? I do know in my old home, I was not very good at making sure that my guests were accommodated well. And I had my sister spend the night one night. I had just redone my guest bedroom and bathroom. And I said, would you do me a huge favor? And I don't stay in my guest bedroom, so I guess I don't think about what needs to be in there. So would you do me a favor and just kind of go through the room and think of anything that you obviously notice that is missing and let me know so that I can make sure that I do it right. And here's what I learned from that. Number one, a nice cozy bed, obviously, with fresh sheets and an abundance of pillows. I have got numerous toss pillows and things like that. That's just for pretty, um, but I do have pillows in the back there and I do keep extra pillows in the closet simply because not everyone likes the same type of pillow, okay? Some people like a real firm pillow, some people like a real soft pillow, that kind of thing. So, fresh sheets that are not your old sheets from your old college days. Get some nice sheets. You sleep on nice sheets, why shouldn't your guests? Then I have a blanket at the edge of the bed in case they need anything extra. Like I mentioned before, lighting and there is a clock there. Now these days, most everybody has their cell phone to be able to look at, but you know what? To pop up in the middle of the night and be able to wonder what time it is, is great. So going along with that is making sure that you have blinds and curtains that close and make it nice and dark in the room. Um, I've been to homes before where I've spent the night and you could hardly sleep because it was so bright and there was no blinds or anything on the windows. So very important also. So I have a nightstand on either side of the bed so that lights can go on and off that way. And then there's tissues here and a sleep mask. The other thing is a night light. So I do have a night light that is attached to one of these two outlets over here. So you do get a little bit of ambient light late at night. Okay, a nice place to sit. Now, most everybody doesn't have a room this size, so you're not gonna be able to drag in a love seat or a sofa or anything like that. But a place to sit that doesn't have to be the bed. You know, sometimes people are with you for a few days, maybe even a week, family coming in from out of town. So have a nice cozy place for someone to be able to sit if they wanna read, if they want to just chill. And then I have a bench. And the bench is simply for being able to sit down, put your shoes on, that kind of thing. I have two dressers here, and both of which are empty. I like to keep these empty because people hate to live out of their suitcase. I make sure that there's plenty of room for that. Now, I'm not gonna show you in the closet, but in the closet, make sure that it is not your dumping grounds for everything you're not using. Make sure that there's space to store that suitcase that they might be bringing with them. Make sure that um, there's hangers to hang their clothes on. And then also make sure that extra pillows are, are in that closet and another set of sheets. Sometimes you need just something a little bit more than just an extra blanket. I also keep a small hamper in there in case they're gonna be staying for a while where they're gonna put their dirty clothes. Now I do not have a television in here right now, but normally the television will sit right here. I like to leave a little paper that says uh, what channels are local here or what channels are, you know, Food Network, HGTV, the things that people like to watch. And I think the other thing too is, if you look around, the room is decorated. And basically that tells me as a guest that I'm really glad you're here and that 
I cared enough to make sure that your room was very nice. Let's head off to the bathroom. So here's my guest bathroom and it is actually between both of my guest rooms. Once again, it's decorated. It's all. not the dropping grounds for everything I don't use. As you come in, I've got a little light here that I keep as a night light. I've got bath products, definitely a towel and soap. You would not believe how often you get to someone's house and because they don't use their room, they just put that in there and there's nothing in it. Toilet tissue. I'm gonna go to the closet since we're here right now. And blinds on the windows. So when you're gonna be in here taking a shower, whatever, the neighbors aren't watching you. I've got another pillow. I've got a humidifier, a couple of extra Kleenex, toilet tissue. This is where I keep the hair dryer and uh, curling irons and things like that. I've got a little step stool. And we have scale if you are so inclined. And then plenty of nice towels. These are not old frayed towels, these are nice towels. So, I'm gonna go through the drawers here real quick. Right next to the toilet is little feminine products. Over here, I have got little sewing kit, little brush, a um, couple of little brushes here, uh, little fingernail clippers, some little lotions, and a couple of combs. Now these are all new. I make sure and let my guests know that. In here are toothpaste and toothbrush, and the toothbrushes are new. And then over here is um, Noxema for washing your face. These are uh, for taking makeup off. And then we also have uh, cotton. Under here, we really don't have anything but cleaning products, but I do have space for it. And then under here, I have a garbage can. We have extra feminine products for ladies. And then over here is where we keep all of our shampoo, conditioners. Um, these are new also. And then I do have shower gel. I think we're pretty well prepared for guests. Here is my nightlight. I have a clean shower. Little rubber ducky. And here's some soap and then a place to be able to put those hair products and bathing products. Behind the door, I have a robe hook or a towel, a towel hook so that you can hang your towels up or your robe or whatever after you've taken your shower. Um, medicine cabinet here. Medicine cabinet, we really don't have much in because I want to be able to make sure that they can use their products if they want to use those instead. So I think we covered most of the bases on making sure that you have a place for your guests that feels comfortable. I'm gonna take you into my second guest bedroom. It is for when you have children or babies spending the night. I have two grandbabies, so we purchased this crib a couple of years ago, so it's ready to go. Normally, when we're not using it over a period of time, I cover this with a fitted twin sheet. And that way it goes over the top and helps prevent some dust. And then I do put another sheet inside. I've got a rocking chair for rocking baby. We do have a monitor. So the other part is downstairs and we can easily put that into another bedroom if we need to. Lighting that does come on when you turn the switch on. Another comfy bed with a separate blanket, extra pillows. Oh, and this table is three pieces. It's a nesting table, so that does come on in case you need extra space. I think my last guest took my sleep masks. I do usually have books in the room or magazines, and those are usually in the top drawers. Okay, once again, we have blinds that will close. We have sleep masks in here, and then there's magazines in here. So this closet in this room has a toy box with toys in it, and it does have a fan. Uh, I know a lot of people sleep with fans now. And then the night light, which is over on the other side here. And then this is a closet that is strictly for sheets, extra pillows, towels, blankets. And then there's more bath products if we need them. So here's baby sheets and things like that. Here are nice new sheets and more extra pillows. So I hope you enjoyed my little tour of my guest bedroom and think about before someone comes to stay in your home, what you would need.
Thanks for going on this little tour with me. If you have a guest bedroom or a spare room that isn't used very often, even if it's part of your office, go through that room and think of all the things that you'd really like to have in here. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour and I hope that you'll go through your own guest bedroom and bathroom if you have those spare rooms, uh, offices that share space as far as having grandma and grandpa come spend the night. Um, just check it out and see if it's what you were expecting in your room. Go through your bedroom. You have a clock, you've got adequate lighting, you've got nice pillows, nice sheets, blankets in case you need anything extra. Um, you have toothpaste, you have all of your bath products and you have night lights and a fan if you need it and a, a cozy place to sit whether it's on the end of your bed or you've got a little stool or a little chair in your room just check it all out because i'll bet you'll realize that there's some things that are missing that would be really good to welcome your guests with okay have a great day everybody